Hello, everyone. Welcome to the very first episode of the Snack Bar Podcast. I am Peter, and I will be the main host. Everyone, introduce yourselves. Colin, you go first. Hi, I'm Colin. Formerly known, not formerly, I, I am known as uh, Colin G Music on YouTube. You can check me out. I'm going to go ahead and post this on my channel as well as link all their others. Tyler, are you going to start posting videos or no? Nah, I'm just following. I don't do oh. shit. All right, <laughs> Tyler, who are you? <laughs> are you uh i'm just a friend of these two clowns over here very cool and also i'm also known as admiral if you don't know Colin. Ad- admiral snack bar over here yes um uh, tyler you were the editing for everything i mean but i can be i got no real job <laughs> he was my editor plug and i still have to pay him like a hundred bucks a hundred yeah. bucks how much were you all my stimulus check <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my dad I ended up for- I think Tyler was charging me like 15 per video. So not, I mean, it was, he did a lot of editing for those videos. So yeah, but my dad, um, my dad ended up giving me, uh, the $500 that he got for me from the stimulus and I didn't ask for it. I just got it. So I guess that's pretty pog. So how, how have y'all been? How have you, how have y'all been keeping up? Uh, it's been pretty good. I mean, Corona, I mean, Corona's happened. So it's just mostly been, I'm mostly staying inside, but like, my work that I was doing, my job was technically essential, so I've been traveling and I've been working, so I, it hasn't affected me as much. But what do you do for work? Not going to. Uh, I'm an audio and video lighting integrator, so I'm a project technician. I go out and help hang speakers, hang lights for theaters, churches, schools, and I help put up cool things. And it looks Very cool. Um, I guess we can just get right into like, do you have a do you have a fun or funnier like? kind of horror story from working in that field or not um i guess it's just most of the time we're either working with lots of heights uh so i'll be climbing up like three three stories worth of scaffolding mm-hmm. and i have a harness on but it doesn't help that you're that high climbing on a ladder all the way up to go help hang lights yeah. or hang speakers but so uh, the heights aren't as bad i've gotten used to it but it's still a little weird and creepy sometimes like yeah. i haven't fallen from any heights or done stupid things makes sense i mean the probably the craziest thing that i've done uh, in my unemployment is uh stay up overnight to edit so props to you for that no you did a 12 hour stream top line oh yeah that was more taxing my bad that's true i bet i bet yeah all right so so with that so with that audio and video um work so I'm, i'm assuming your youtube videos are as high quality right uh sure i mean i like to say i i started with a i started recording on my iphone when i first started so it's like i had an iphone 7 plus and that was my camera i used uh Mm -hmm. and then i had a ring light and then um my video quality wasn't the best and i finally decided to steal my dad's video camera one day and now it's kind of mine so now i use that for recording but i'm not using that right now because i'm in utah right now yeah how's you how's utah weather's beautiful looks like it's gonna rain Oh, it's it's already raining. Nice. <laughs> I, I was just in Utah. It, it was yeah, pretty no, it's, cool. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But no, yeah. like my my sound quality hasn't changed much. I guess I don't know. I started off to be lucky. I have an interface and I record through XLR for people that don't know. And mm-hmm. I use a nice mic. I, I have this mic currently here and a smaller interface that I bring for travel. But, yeah. Um, uh, my audio I, isn't the greatest because it's on USB. <laughs> I yeah, kind of went. I kind of went with the cheap over. option. Yeah. But it's whatever. No, I got lucky. My dad gave me an interface and a mic and everything. So I can mm-hmm. start off and start posting for you guys and making good content that hopefully you guys enjoy. Yeah. yeah. So, like, what goes into making your YouTube videos specifically? Because I know that you do a lot of music-based content and a lot of Omega videos. So, so what goes on behind the scenes? Yeah, so a lot of it, I'd say the most taxing of it, like, people always want me to upload every day or upload more often, but... The hard part is either learning the new songs, chords behind it, or if I have to pull on make a whole track itself, it's not easy. It takes time, and especially like I don't want to put out content that I don't like and I don't think is the quality that I want it at. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's one side of it, and I enjoy it. I'm not saying it's so hard. You guys should be lucky that I do it. I don't want it to be like that because I enjoy doing it. Um, other side I'd say is just editing. Editing takes a long time and a lot of motivation to go ahead and get done. Um, like I'm sitting on what like PJ and I we just went ahead and recorded the video. I still have to go ahead and edit that, and then yeah, I haven't even we'll see if I have to edit this video here. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, so I started I started with the footage a little bit, but 
So I, a lot of it is just building the track, getting ready for it. And sometimes videos don't work, like covers especially. I do them all live, one take. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the times I don't get the, I don't get the uh, cover that I need or the take that I need. And it's just like, I can't do it that day. Let's go ahead and try it again tomorrow. So. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't even opened up the MP4 and MP3 to that league video yet. Yep. It, 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 after that Omega video that I just uploaded, the amount of time that it took editing that, I mean, granted, I was getting distracted a lot, but it still took a while, you know what I mean? And, and for yeah, someone yeah. who's only edited like two videos before by themselves, it was a lot for me, but yeah, no, I get it. I get it. The more you do it, the easier editing gets. Like I can, my Omega videos, the most, the hardest thing is either, I think that the hardest thing is sitting through Omega in, in itself. Uh, like he's sifting but, through like, the content sifting through the content especially that's the most taxing side of it uh, but editing it is like it's nice because with me i do music and i sing to people so i know when i have to cut it what songs that i like that i think i sounded well with and mm -hmm. also reactions because it's like i sing in front of people and i don't get reactions and yeah. that's sometimes not the best for the video and everything mm -hmm. but yeah what, what do you think tyler i'm gonna leave that twitter <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you paying any attention? Ow. I all I heard was something about cutting, something I don't know how to do in like thirty minutes. Love. I will watch. I literally like when I edit, I'll watch like the whole thing through for no reason, mm -hmm. and I won't just pick certain parts and just cut everything you know, else. That, out. Yeah, that might be a good strategy to try. I don't know if you've tried this, Colin, but I've heard that it it sometimes is easier to just place markers on clips that you want to keep by what just watching it straight through and then cutting it afterwards. But I've only heard that from like three people so far, so I don't know. It's like don't, so tedious to do that though. Yeah. It, it depends. Like Omega, I'm not doing that because sometimes I record for three, four hours straight on Omega just to get 15 minutes of good content. So mm -hmm. it's like especially with what i do at least cover wise i know you do more like interviews and just talking with people having fun yeah. there but uh so sorry my brother came in the room there uh, -huh. <laughs> uh so no it's it's one of those where it's like uh i i reckon what i do at least i know which songs i sounded well in, and at least what i think i did uh mm -hmm. and i go ahead and go to those and i'm like okay i like this reaction i like this so i can just click through and find that person and start to flip there and then cut the rest out that I don't like. So I yeah. don't, that's how I do it. Yeah, for, for, for yeah, that, that, that sounds like it, it it definitely sounds like it would be a lot easier than what I was doing. Cause what I was doing was I was obviously looking like specifically for the parts that I thought would be funny. And I don't know if they're funny to everyone, but there are, de there's like, two and a half hours of that footage that wasn't even worth anything and i just had to watch the entire clip to even remember what what's worth it and not yeah and I, I guess maybe i don't know if you have on your obs maybe the how long you've been recording for or maybe place a marker there where you liked it mm -hmm. that would almost seem easier for you yeah uh yeah but it yeah, was, no, it's it's one of those. It's it's easier on for my type of content that I use. Yeah, so that, that um that video was taken from a Twitch vod, so it was kind of hard to deal with. But yeah, yeah, that's hard too. Mm -hmm. Um, no, but yeah, recording Omega videos are fun and all, but it's a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, I got ten likes on the last one. I guess I got to do another one. Yeah. Don't know how to feel about <laughs> that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So. so um, you mentioned what's up, Tyler? Are you gonna want to kick yourself? Yeah, yeah. So um, you mentioned your business, your uh, your main source of income before. So do you have any other like side gigs that you do? Yeah. So I go ahead and I'm a reseller when it comes to like shoes or high beast sneakers. Uh, a lot of my friends know I post on my Instagram about it. I haven't posted recently on all of them. I picked up uh, a couple more for myself, but mostly I go ahead and buy in bulk, like Yeezys, Supreme. Jordans, shoes like those, and then I take them for what I buy them for, and I resell them for a higher price. Uh, so I get what well, I get constant Yeezys. I get some off-white stuff uh, from time to time. But right, so I'll just the hustle. Just, yeah, just the hustle. It's fun. I've met a lot of cool people along the way, but that's what I did before I was working and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've kind of grown it. I haven't done as much because I'm focusing on YouTube and work and stuff but uh no i was out with my brother i went ahead and got him his first pair of yeezys for his birthday mm -hmm. he just turned 13 so I wanted to so, how, so how's the profit on that one 
Uh, Profit isn't bad. It, it depends on what shoe it is. Like, I originally got a pair of the Travis Scott Air Force. No, tra- no, the Travis Scott Air Jordan ones, which mm-hmm. I bought those for one seventy five, and I immediately sold it for nine hundred the next day. Yeah. So that's a, that's a rare case when it comes to profit like that. Um, those just jumped in price because Travis Scott slap that yeah. name, slap his design on it, and then yeah, it just blows up. Like right now, a pair in my size, like size nine and a half, is like eighteen hundred for a pair of shoes. Yeah. Which that's that's crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I ever do that, but but if, what I like to go for a margin is at least eighty dollars profit on it, depending mm-hmm. on the shoe. Some shoes I know isn't aren't going to do as well, so I go ahead and buy them in bulk, which is cheaper for me. Um, and then wait so i can make more profit that way wait yeah yeah or waiting on pair of shoes oh yeah i had like eight pairs of shoes that i was waiting on and they rose in profit Mm -hmm. so yeah no that's that's my little eye gig and what i do i'm hoping to get back into it i don't know i don't know yet we'll see yeah tyler are you employed currently i have no other employment than doing nothing doing nothing nothing. my income is none none I can, I can, I can agree. Apart from what do you the, mean? the, the, you, you the, have dreams. The, yeah, the occasional Twitch government. Prime sub, the occasional Prime sub. Oh, and the fifty bucks from Colin, which really helped out. I went ahead and I uh, <laughs> got a second monitor for Twitch chat, which I've been like, like really needing. But yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, so That's Twitch, boy, Twitch though. is kind of slow, because the only real donations that I get are from friends, just like screwing around with the donation system or text to speech i mean occasionally they'll they'll throw like 30 at me just because they can and they work at fries and they think that like they're the shit you know what i mean like if me like, i got a job kiss yeah i yeah, work yeah. i work 20 hours a week and i get paid minimum like, I'm not, I'm not, yeah yeah it, it's all uh, i'm just i'm just joking but you know what i mean like good good for you for yeah, having a job you're not yeah. glad at all. I, don't, I didn't do it like that i just did it because I, I wanted the one call you out and roast you for the latest video you guys see. Hey, and hey, I, I, I do, I do like League though. Now that I actually found a like, champion go. that I like. Yeah. Diggs is a very overpowered champion. Yeah. He's fun. He is. Uh, no, Le- League's a fun game. Yeah, no, the, the Twitch. I want to get. I need to build a PC because right now I've just been doing stuff off of MacBook Pro. So I like mm-hmm. Mac software for recording and editing and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. But I'm hoping to build a PC soon so I can maybe get this streaming while I'm recording all bagel stuff. So I think that could be cool. I yeah. can just, it's, I'm already doing it. I might as well stream it. So, um, yeah, how, how much are you looking to put into your computer? Because if you, if, if anyone doesn't know, I built mine for like 2000 and it's pretty, it's, it's high up on the mid tier, but it's not exactly high tier. It's only got a 2060 in it, but everything else is pretty up there. So I went ahead and like, I went on, uh, what? It's one of, some app i forget what it's called pc uh, part picker maybe no i i i do there just i i go ahead and throw it all there just to see if it's compatible mm. but I, it's something egg i forget what it means new um, egg. egg yeah new egg i go ahead and I, I threw it up there so if i wanted the one that i really want it's like three grand but that's including like monitor and a mouse yeah but we'll see i might go so one of my friends, he has like a PC building business. I'll be like, okay, what do I not need? What could I downgrade on to maybe lower the cost a little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll give um, you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Your power supply does not need to supply more power than you actually need. That's yes, like my yeah. first hint. That's my first hint because I only have a five fifty or uh, a five hundred and fifty watt, and it's it's eighty plus bronze, and it powers everything just fine, and I have no power issues. Yeah, I was looking at like seventy seven hundred just to have for expansion. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Dep- it depends on, on how many uh, GPUs specifically yeah. like you're looking to put in there. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm Probably gonna put a 2070. One. Yeah, just one. With any more yeah. I want a 2070. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm getting a. I've been looking at uh, the Ryzen. Well, I was looking at the Ryzen nines. They look very oh, nice. AMD. Ugh. Look at this kid uh, with Intel. He's like, Ooh. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. The only, the only reason why I'm like so hooked on Intel is because of their, their, their dual, their dual banding capabilities. Like the, the fact that I can stream and play games at 144 frames so smoothly sometimes without internet issues, of course. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's just amazing. Is and, dog. and while, while, and, yeah, it is. Faster. 
Yeah, while AMD does have higher frame rate, it just doesn't have the same the same capabilities to do multimedia broadcasting and mm -hmm. gameplay. Yeah. But well, that's why you have to have your uh, recording stuff on a separate hard drive. Yeah, that's funny. And then funny. And then you go ahead and give it its some own luxury right there. Uh, come on. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, it really is my Wi-Fi though. My Wi-Fi has been acting up recently. This man's gonna pay four hundred dollars for a modem. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think it's everybody's Wi-Fi though. I don't know. I think just especially with everybody inside and how much is being used. I've at least noticed it when I'm playing games and stuff. Like just yeah. the actual paying and bandwidth when it comes to yeah. that is super low. Um, mm -hmm. uh, now going going back a little bit to those Omega videos, I'm sure you've had stories on there, DJ of what's oh, happened on Omega. Yeah. Yeah. And so the reasons why we hate the website as much as yeah. we like everything. So here's the thing, right? I went on there and I streamed without looking at the Twitch terms of service. All right. I didn't look at the Twitch terms of service and and before before streaming, I I, I never I never realized that Omega is literally specifically written that it is against the rules to stream Omega, and Omega only. Really? Yeah. Omega is like the only thing that you can't like the only game realistically that is or the game or website that is like specifically forbidden from the website and people still stream that drunk we don't care yeah 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 i swear anyways yeah so it, it was that was uh a, fun, a, a funny story funny stories from that were, would be um definitely a, a bunch of a bunch of uh genitalia that i forgot to censor with a picture of um Penises. yeah yeah with 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 a picture of the man the myth the legend fit mc nice. <laughs> so yeah i i sometimes forget that i have a macro for it and i ended up not putting it over and i had to like quick end the stream so that it would be uh detected facts uh, like that's the scary thing especially when streaming that like i don't know if people get it but when you're on omega there are some creeps out there man there's mm -hmm. everyone's thirsty for someone something and it's, something. it's terrible it's terrible yeah. Yeah, just the, just the and then the yeah, and then when I went on when I specifically did my um, interviewing furries video, mm -hmm. um, that was kind of eye opening at like the true horrors of Omegle because there were people that were like just broadcasting furry porn. I'm not gonna that say the full word, all right? Weird, yeah, yeah, bro. just broadcasting that one dude it. Was weird. Yeah, and then oh, there's another like there's another like instances of people like who are actually serious about wanting to kill furries, and then there's other people who are furries looking it. for friends, and then there's people that are joking around, and it's it's a whole thing. I, I think people just clown on it all. I just think yeah. they just clown on that one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, Apparently, I the... yeah, I don't know. If, I, you go ahead, Colin. I think the best like channels to do is like I don't know, I do TikTok channel because that's just like that's where you get everyone. It's the most relevant. It's just I don't know, I get the best reactions on that one. It's yeah. Quick, it's easy. And it's nice. Have you guys heard of the um, crazy cat lady on the furry specific? Oh, Michael. No, no, I haven't. You haven't? All right. Well, no. if you, I'll link I'll link the YouTube channel where I found this out down in the description. Uh, it, it's it's Muda from some ordinary gamers. Uh, that's okay. how I found out about this and apparently there is someone who I think is using a VPN on Omega and people have like been trying to get her IP but she's she goes onto Omega at certain times and broadcasts like just skinning animals skinning cats specifically like uh, skinning cats alive yeah I know I know and, and and I went and I went and I saw this for myself and she's on there I, I found her, right? Like it's a thing. My webcam wasn't turned on, but I found her, and, and it was just it was it was it was, it was weird. Yeah. It's a weird experience, yeah. Okay. So you, things you find on the yeah. Or like yeah. the setups, like I, the setup stuff. Why is it dead ass? I I searched it up. Why is it literally just the head? Why is it's it just, just the it's head? It's just the head. It's, it's just the head of the animal. It's nothing else. Just the head. But you can tell that it was like just skinned. She skins skin. the stray cats like consistently. That's terrible. Yeah. That's There's some weird people. Stop. For real. <laughs> I rate that a uh, one out of a lineage with the totally. um. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, we have fun on Omega. Is there a horror story for you, Colin? Um, I don't. It depends. Like the amount of weird people I come across. I try to play it off like it's best. I don't know if it's more of a horror 
like I haven't had many like weird experiences besides dodging all the genitalia and all the bad, bad, bad things. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I come across a lot of people that are high or just drunk off their mind. Yeah. Like on my Omegle video, like I came, okay, it was home.tv because I got banned on Omegle for some odd reason. Nice. Uh, I, I, Recording. I, it was, weird. It was mm -hmm. weird. Like I wasn't doing anything wrong. I just it finished IP the ban. reaction and then banned. I got, I'm back on Omegle right now, but I went to home.tv and this one guy was slammed. Like, yeah, I was like, bro, you look high. And he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, he shows his vape. He's like, I just spoke two blunts too. Mm -hmm. And he shows nice. the vape. Not nice, just a like, disclaimer. Um, no. That's sarcastic. Not nice. All right, continue. Uh, and then I was like, okay, can I play you a song to make it feel better, man? Or the song will probably hit harder. And uh, he asked me to play Whistle by Flo Rida. Whistle by Flo Rida, everybody. That, that song slaps. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard that song since I was 10 years old. Yep. But yeah, um, I just come a lot, across a lot of people. I saw this one guy pouring wine into like some like kitty cup or like a mug mm -hmm. of some sort. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of Why? crazy people, y you all remember CIY? Yes, sir. Yeah, that was yeah, never going back. Next, what do you mean by crazy people at CIY? Um, crazy, crazy, crazy females. Crazy females at CIY? Yeah. Are we talking about clout chasers? Yeah. Yeah. The dumb. Like, well, like, especially... when they started crawling. Yeah, yeah. And, and not to dog on church or anything, but the... There, there. You could definitely tell who was there for church, and who was there to just find their next boyfriend, or girlfriend, or companion, oh. for that matter. People, I don't. Know, I think people use it as like almost a fun out. It, it, it depends on what how, what you use it for. I don't know. People yeah. go there for the right reasons. People go there for the reasons they want. Nothing they could do. They just do it to either hang out with friends or have a better experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll go ahead and do story time next week. yeah story there, time there's a lot to talk about if we really think about it with that yeah no it, it's true it's a, it's a good little little point but uh i got i guess speaking about some stuff happening uh Le leafy is here is back on youtube now Ooh, i don't know if you guys watching videos yeah yeah you just glitch a little bit yeah i watched right, i watched i watched a couple of the recent videos now, personally, I wasn't like a big Leafy fan. I was a big Idubs fan specifically, but not be not 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 Leafy. Hey Tyler. Yeah, no, I was definitely more into. <laughs> you okay, Tyler? What? I thought you were gonna say something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just like, you Ty's you beard. really you really were on that Idubs chain, weren't you? Well, I wasn't on the chain, but he's just the one that I watched out of like all of those controversial YouTubers. And now almost uh, all of them have fallen off, and it seems like Keemstar and Hee Hee are the only ones to like really survive, he like he. in terms of uploading. Hee Hee, what's I don't his know name? Hee Hee. He he. Wait, wait, what's his real H3. name? H3. Yeah, H three H three. I just say Hee Hee. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I I think I watched a good amount of Beefy back in the day when he was still uploading consistently, like when he was the most toxic person on the site. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like, I don't, it was just always fun to see the reactions and just stuff that would happen. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like, I never took it as like he was being super serious with it, but I just, I enjoyed the content. It was funny. It was a good laugh. But I watched oh, Keemstar a lot. I still watch him to this day. I it's still watch like, Drama Alert. Keeping up with, with beef and everything is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But no, what, especially what... with all of that happening. Yeah, what do you think about Keemstar and uh, H3H3 now that I have it right? Nobody um, has the fair side. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I think I don't Ethan's always been called like I'm personally on Keemstar's side on things. I feel like Ethan doesn't take ownership of what he does and I feel like he uses people for his advantage and in a way where they think they're being friends. Like I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the one uh what's it called? Uh, oh dang! What's the most RuneScape? Uh, RuneScape, yeah, the RuneScape streamer. Yep. He ended up befriending him and trying to help take Keemstar down. When when Keemstar and him had the beef, because I think Keemstar was calling him like a pedo and everything, mm -hmm. and he did some stuff, and Keemstar was wrong. He went out and called called himself out on his BS, took the video down, sent and him then raided him video. on Twitch, yep. which and got him to where him. he is. Yeah. Yeah, he gave him a bunch of followers. And then as soon as all that stuff started like stopping, like Keemstar was even nice talk with him on the phone. 
played RuneScape with him, and it's like he did his part and tried to make the situation a lot better. And over time, he has a family, he has stuff he has to worry about. He can't really keep up with it at all times. But he's always there to talk, I believe. I don't know. I don't know him personally, but and then he's that RuneScape streamer ended up going with H3H3 because they needed to take him down. But in the past, H3H3 has used those other people as pawns mm-hmm. just to go ahead and use them for their advantage to back yeah. up more people. Yeah, honestly, when it comes to like when it comes to the more respectful YouTuber, I think that Keemstar just has the upper hand on Ethan because Keemstar like actually like during during drama alerts, he seems to get every side or at least tries yeah. to get every side before like finally making his own personal conclusion. Yeah. And then he also like leaves it up to the viewers to make their own mind up. So I think I don't know. he has done some wrong things in the past. Yeah, I think oh, that's with everybody yep. and what they uh, do. Alex? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone type in the chat, Alex! No, we're uh, not gonna go there. But yeah, Alex. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I think, no, everyone's done their wrongs in the past, but he's owned up for situations. He was apologized, and then Ethan's over here, two feet in the grave, looking like he's about to die soon. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, Keemstar also called out Amanda Cerny for uh, begging for Twitch subs. I don't oh know yeah, that was funny. That. that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. I saw that. <laughs> he went into a whole Twitter rant and. Uh... Yeah, she's just another Eve Todd Alinity streamer. Yeah. Been I mean, falling off, bro. I mean, yeah, Twitch is made for off. gaming, but Not there is a just chatting gaming. section. I don't know. No, it's no, there it's literally it. just for little boys that don't know what porn hub is. Corn I hub. guess so. Corn hub. Uh, Corn hub. Corn hub. Same difference. Corn. I like <laughs> I like the P one instead. Right. I know you do. I need to do Tyler. <laughs> of course um, you do. But no, yeah, it's, it's just a, Twitch is just a bunch of it's just a simple website. If you're a girl yeah. on Twitch, you can do anything. Yeah, I, I've personally suggested streaming to a lot of my female friends, mostly because. There's just such a big opportunity for profit. Yeah, if you play games and you're relatively good and you have good reactions and mm-hmm. uh, you're streaming constantly, you'll just start yeah. picking. Yeah, like like for anyone though, for anyone for that matter, Twitch is such an easy platform to grow if you know the algorithm. And it took me about two years to really study what makes a small streamer grow in order for yeah. me to implement that into my own stream. And it's pretty successful right now. Yeah, no, you're growing. You've only been doing it for like a month now, and you're already at 100 followers on Twitch. YouTube's well, at what? 387. Oh, but you got Tyler counted. 39 yeah. subs. Okay, yeah. okay. You have 39 yeah. subs. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. No, I, I watched your recent... Well, I watched your Omega video. That was cool. Uh, but no, yeah, no. You popping off, and your YouTube's almost at 100 subs. Yeah, that's me crazy. Almost, what? It took me like six months to get a hundred subs not six months it took me like seven months yeah seven, it's crazy to, to think about i and swear yeah, it's so hard months. it's so hard to get like the first hundred on youtube and then after that it's easier after that it youtube actually easier. puts you in the algorithm yeah so like i recently hit 1700 i'm almost at 1750 right now and i was at like a thousand subs at the start no i think end of march no april end of march or april one of the two yeah but, so that you know, algorithm just almost doubled. cool right up yeah uh, and i'm getting ready to upload more like i have what this podcast is gonna go out i'm gonna see if our league of legends video does well if people want me to do gaming but as well as like just go ahead and recording like more omega video content and more covers and everything mm-hmm. hopefully some yeah, collabs so you're al- with people yeah so you're almost getting monetized right yeah so i just need like a couple more watch hours I think I need like 1,500 more that? watch hours. Oh, 1,500 more, huh? Yeah, do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Susan's going to hear this. Yeah, you're okay, gonna get, on. You're going to get them banned. Yeah, nah, so I hit I don't think, I don't I'm think. Almost, yeah, I'm almost monetized. Huh. As long as it's a real person watching the videos, I don't know. Dude, let's buy him. I'm going to get you 50K. Let me go buy some bots real quick. Don't. No, no please, don't. don't do don't, that. I don't want to get deji I don't want to get deji Uh Yeah. Deji. No, no one's gonna laugh at my deji joke. Okay. I laughed. <laughs> Took me a minute. Uh, oh, it's so much YouTuber beef there too with it, with all of the boxing matches. God. Bro, it's... I love it. I love K- my friends and I. We personally we watched the KSI boxing match. 
how, what'd you uh, think? I love her. I was first. I was rooting for KSI the whole time. I, I don't. I'm KSI all the way. Yeah, that His personally. New album that just dropped. Yeah, I haven't listened to that. I, I probably will sometime, but I don't know. Personally, it's, I like it a lot. Yeah, personally, I don't find much interest in these YouTube boxing matches because at the end of the day, both sides are gaining like millions oh, from yeah, it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I think definitely in the contract, it's like, okay, if I win, I'll get this percentage amount. And if you win, if you win. It always has to be a tie. Win. It always has to be a tie. Always. No, but it's one of those where it's like it, they're they're getting money, especially with KSI leading up to fight Jake Paul. I think that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. I just personally want to see Jake Paul's face cave with him, but it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, not yeah, not gonna be the one to say that he deserves it, but I feel like I feel like it. that kind of YouTuber <laughs> that has yeah, thank you, Tyler. I mean, the the Paul brothers, there's just so much that they just don't deserve where they are. There's so much that they've done, and I'm and I'm gonna go on the I record to say this too. I don't too. know if it's they don't deserve it. I think they the way they, they play it. the algorithm, they milk the system, milk its old drive. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> that's it's I think dry. they, they and I think they just done it i think they played the system well i think they do deserve what they have just how they're using it is not the best situation yeah yeah i uh, just recently jake paul uploaded uh, a somewhat explicit picture to instagram when he knew that like if you look on his instagram analytics you can see that like the majority of his instagram followers are under the age of 18 yeah, and it was a very sub it was a very subject su suggestive Suggested, picture yeah. of him and his girlfriend yeah no, and, and that so, video that he posted too it's weird i mean if he's coming out and saying it's a kid's content then it's messed up but like it's almost hard he should have some sort of sit down like i'm switching content if he's really trying to do that mm -hmm. but he could also say my video is not meant for kids yeah i say my content isn't for kids so i don't know yeah mine's don't know def definitely not but then again, yeah, like I, I don't, don't age restrict it, so. Under kids. I need the ad revenue. Even if it's five cents, I'll take it. No, but yeah, no, but if you say it's for kids, they you get no you get no ad revenue. Really? I thought they they don't put as many ads on the video. Yeah, because maybe they not. don't because they don't want to go ahead and like not cloud their judgment, but it's like spam them with things to buy. Even though that's already been done, YouTube oh, is yeah, just sure. yeah. I've uh, I, Leafy has definitely talked about this before. And same with Gamestar. YouTube is totally turning into a TV show highlight website. Oh, absolutely! Like very fast. Jimmy like Jimmy, yep, Conan, Jimmy. Yep. The only thing I will accept. I can't hear you, Tyler. The... Yeah, you have your mic muted, Clown. Yeah. I, I think his, his mom's there. I think his mom. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's getting dressed right now. <laughs> Get a clown on right now. Uh, no, I think like one of the things that, uh, especially with the whole TV thing, like the only thing except that I'll do is the uh, carpool karaoke. That stuff, I like carpool karaoke. Yeah, I I, I dig that. I dig that a lot. But that's just because I like seeing musicians. And, yeah, I, and I just feel stuff. like after the adpocalypse, YouTube has just been taking such a different route, and it's almost completely forgotten about its self-made creators and its gaming channel specifically which I'm trying to enter and it's, it's just difficult now. No, it's, it's like you almost have to be posting on two different platforms at once. Which I kind of am doing. Want. Yeah, no, and that's, I think that's the yeah. smart way to do it. I personally missed the SpaceX launch because I was busy playing uh, in a Rocket League tournament, but did, did you yeah. guys watch it? I went ahead and watched a little bit of it. I didn't get to watch the initial launch. I was playing video games with my girlfriend. <laughs> nice. Uh, so we were caught up doing that, but we went ahead and I watched it when they were in space, at least taking all the rockets off and seeing them land back on Earth. Like mm -hmm. the stuff Elon Musk is doing, he's a smart man. He's yeah. He's a crazy smart man. But yes. I don't, I wouldn't call him a great person, but he's a smart man. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I personally heard about him opening up the factory with like no social distancing currently at least. And it's just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think, he's definitely very smart with his business. Actually, I'm not going to say that. He's a very smart individual who knows how to make a product and, and sell it, yeah. the product. Yeah. But I don't think he, he like... knows how to play the system. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I personally, I like... Smart guy. I think... Yeah, when you when, when we talk about how much stocks he's, he lost, like with that one tweet. Yeah. I don't know. 
I, I think he's a smart businessman, but I think socially he's awkward. But I think that's like, you know, just get one or the other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you're like good in like both generally. But uh, I think I think he left it up to his employees if they wanted to come back. Yeah. I think so I, I, if they're not socially distanced, that's on them. Um, yeah. But I think with the whole thing he's doing, it's smart. Tesla is super cool, especially it's a software. Like a lot of the cars we see, they don't get better over time. As soon as you take them off the lot, it's just a downhill Yeah. Uh, when it comes to profit. But with Tesla, like all the software updates and everything mm -hmm. they're doing and all the minor improvements they do, um, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. Uh, like I, I think my dad currently has a Model Y pre-order. Um, mm -hmm. But no, he's uh, what's it called? It's right now because of all Corona, we had to delay it and everything. But yeah, uh, so you had to make sure stuff gets paid for. Uh, but no, yeah, like all the stuff Tesla, especially SpaceX, having drivers come all the way down to Earth and landing, so mm -hmm. they can get reused and not lost in space and burnt up. And yeah, I don't know. That stuff's cool. Too. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm personally, if if the technology exceeds our expectations, I'm pretty stoked to be hearing about civilian space travel pretty soon oh absolutely like imagine just, hey okay family let's go up to let's go to the moon for you know a month or two yeah so, small small tag of a 10 million dollars probably more, it's definitely more than 10 million okay yeah for right now, i mean it depends i think eventually it could be like the cost of a plane flight like it ain't going to be cheap don't get me wrong it ain't going to mm -hmm. be cheap but i think if they can do it commercially like they do air travel because air travel used to be super expensive back in the day. yeah but now since like I think Southwest is not the best when it comes to getting planes faster, how efficient they're using their fuel. Everything. Yeah. But I think if we can get it to that point in like the parts that we are using for space travel, so we can reuse them, I think it could be amazing. I think mm -hmm. potentially either in our like later end of our life or like mid to later end of our life, or at least our children's, like our next generation's younger life, I think there could be space travel. Yeah, yeah, I agree. What, what do you think about it, Tyler? <laughs> Were you getting clowned on by your mom earlier? Yeah. Oh, oh, he can't even talk. He can't even talk. Tyler? Tyler. You want to go You want to go ahead and drop something in the snap? Just so you can get, get a word out. <laughs> what happened? Oh, oh no, he, he left. He just left. Bro, oh, what snap. Oh. oh. Welcome back. Oh. Hey, you're back. Bam. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Is that a bad song for this? I don't even know. No, no. I don't know. Uh, it, can you hear us now, Tyler? Can you talk? No, I'm lagging. Oh, he's oh, lagging okay. IRL. Yeah. So, what do you what do you think about all the space travel stuff, Tyler? What are you most looking for for space travel? When my kid, my great 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 grandkids just. Write down the note, but I went to space. Nice. Yep, living on That's Mars. That's what you look forward to. Oh, All yeah, right, real talk, real talk. Do you guys think aliens exist? Personally? Personally, there might be, but I don't, like, currently, I don't know. Yeah, so w w when I think about specifically extraterrestrials, you can put them, it it's just, it, it, is, it is almost, it's, it's, unlo it's not logical to believe that there are, isn't another form of life when we have billions if not you know even one google other planets out there and and growing that have the possibility even if it's a small percentage for life and we just don't know that they exist yet so even if they're i think, if, I think how up? vastly infinite the universe is i think it, it, there might be but i don't know i don't i don't necessarily care if aliens do come but i think we live yeah I, uh, there is there is one a full but yeah there's a theory that we sorry for talking over you there's just audio no, input lag uh there's um there's a theory that i heard about before and it's a, a, a species destroys itself before it can travel outside of its own solar system like it'll just it'll just implode and either start over or just cease to exist yeah that's really weird. just to all the energy power that you have in like nuclear warfare and stuff like that people coming against each other yep yeah that's i don't know aliens would be lit but i think if there were aliens elon would be the first to come yep he would and he would keep it from all of us elon we keep it 
no. What do you yeah. think, Tyler? Yeah, Tyler. Are you just not gonna talk aliens? anymore? Yeah, yeah, aliens. 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 You talking about aliens? Aliens. Yeah. Oh, oh, follow up. Uh, green or purple? Alien gang. Yeah. Well, what do you What do you think? I think green. Green gang is just like chill. Bro, Irish green. What do you, what do you think? I, I was I was green because like I was forced into green. Purple. Yeah, I personally just like the color. Like, when you think about it, in game, in the game, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy items for your specific tribe, I'd want them to actually last past the war. So I mm -hmm. went ahead and on PC purple on purple. Purple is not gonna last. Wait, well, wait, wait, the color. Oh, are we talking about? I'm confused. Are we just the, talking about um, colors? Or are we talking nah, about the, the 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 GTA Alien War. Oh, it's I don't know. Green. I don't play it's green. green. I don't play it's green. Yeah, I'd rather. I'd I'd rather the be OGs are green. The OGs. Think about that. The OG aliens were green. The yeah, underdogs. Though. Think about that. The, the underdogs, greens. though. The new ones. The original greens. That's what OGs, OGs are green. Right? The new kids are purple. That's yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, you see my background, bro. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, his lights are purple, so. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. What, Tyler? Exactly. And uh, then I just hear this sound outside. It's just I nice. didn't hear that. Oh, uh, you want me to... It's, uh... All right. Okay, yeah, Tyler. Yeah, All good. right. All right. Thanks, Thank Tyler. you. So, uh, I, I don't know. This is kind of going off topic, but personally, I've been thinking a lot about college. And... Okay. Um, I don't know, because personally, I'm not interested in a trade. I mean, that would be like kind of a lot. No, nine to five. For I'm not doing nine to five. I, I I don't. I can't do a nine to five. I, if I already hate school, I can't do a nine to five. I I'm promise gonna... you, Tyler. I'm not 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 going into that. But like, I'm really interested in stuff that's unconventional. Um, and kind of like, I don't know. A lot of people don't really do a history degree because there's nothing you can really do like off the top of your head at least right but yeah. when you really think about it there is a lot that you can do with that degree my parents have told me to become a lawyer because i'm just good at arguing so i don't know how to feel about that i really don't <laughs> yeah because that's all lawyers do they just argue yeah they just litigate not try to yeah. save other people not trying no, to save exactly other people or the they're just trying to win when you're exactly. arguing you're yeah and uh personally via video games and adventure style video games i kind of want to become an archaeologist that's kind of just like a dream i don't know yeah. indiana jones in. yeah no i, I mean uh, from someone that i'm not going to go to college at least uh i'm picking up a trade i guess in mm -hmm. the audio video and lighting field uh, i work as a nine to five technically it's seven to four but uh i get a nice hour break for lunch yeah uh, yeah but I go ahead and work it. It's not that it's not as bad as you think. Time goes by fast, and then I get paid OT, and I get to travel and do cool things. Yeah, especially so, when you do what you love. Exactly. Yeah, I was gonna say, especially I enjoy what I do, and then I'm also learning, and it also applies to like singing or what I'm doing for production-wise for my videos. So mm -hmm. it's kind of helping me and aiding things that I've already known, so I can bring that to the field, and also what I'm learning from the field to so my YouTube and other experiences. Yeah. So I don't. I don't yeah. mind working nine to five or doing all that. Yeah, I, I I applied to Best Buy, haven't heard back from them because I just think that time would fly when I'm working with tech. Even though I've heard all of the horror stories from Best Buy, don't get me wrong, I've heard them. All right, but I uh, I mean, when when it, when it, when it comes time to actually really apply for a job and instead of like just emailing them, I don't think I'm gonna go into retail unless it's retail that I'm like really interested in, because yeah. retail is one of those like you know it's almost it feels like a nine to five because you're in the same warehouse uh kind of just either restocking or um you, you know helping customers what a restocker. Bro, I well that's restock. that's basically I like all you'll be doing when you're 16 and no you can work at mcdonald's i know i got it no at yeah I, i've been interested in the <laughs> in the in the uh restaurant slash food area but I don't, I don't know in and out. Dude, yeah i've been thinking about so in and out harder. Because apparently in and out pays really well and they got benefits, so... Yeah. Every place you know. has benefits. Starbucks has benefits. What do you mean? Not... not Yeah, but some have way more than you think. Yeah, yeah it depends. Depends on what you get. Mm -hmm. Not yet. 
what I'm a I technically I'm all done with school. I just got finished in December, but you're a junior. Yeah, now we are. Didn't be because because uh, the Roni. A Roni. The yeah. Roni. The macaroni. I can't say I can't say that uh word. Oh, Colin season. already said it. It doesn't. Did I say Corona? Yeah. I said Rona or did I say Corona? Corona. Okay, my bad. I don't know. I don't. That's I don't. Fine. We're not gonna get demonetized. We're not, not getting monetized anyways. So. Yeah, my <laughs> Corona <expensive>. addiction. Yeah. <laughs> corona addiction. I'm going back to that monetization. It's so much easier to get monetized on Twitch than it is on YouTube. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like it's all so you need easy. on yeah, all you need on Twitch is 50 followers and an average of three viewers, and you and can you partnered. can like I didn't do this personally, but it is so easy to just do that on your own without anyone watching. Like it, it's yeah. not even that hard. Like I personally had a lot of my friends just av just watch my stream, and once you hit affiliate. Then you grow up the um, up the algorithm, and you get placed on more people's uh, what's it called? More people's recommended Twitch pages, and there's just such there's just such an audience on Twitch that's really like not, not to say taken not to say to be taken advantage of, but there's just audiences that are looking for a stream and they're looking yeah. for you. Either one of their streamers left, and they're trying to find a new one just to occupy their time. Yeah. How does it yeah. work when you're getting like partnered on Twitch? Because so, I always hear. Yeah. Partnered is a whole nother story. So partnered is 75 hours streamed, an average of 75 viewers and streaming on, I think it's 15 different days in a month. Okay, yeah, so it's a lot. <laughs> and an average of 75 viewers definitely takes some time to build up, but it's exactly, doable. Exactly. I mean, personally, I think it would be easier to reach 10,000 subs on YouTube, but. I, I think people look at YouTube and gaining those like, cause all people always say, it's just a thousand subs and you get monetized that can look scary to people but it depends on your content where you find your niche within it um i think for me the hardest i think people don't look at it but the hardest is the watch hours. getting those four thousand watch hours is really really hard like yeah. i hit a thousand and i was at like 1600 watch hours thank god like i grew and one of my videos hit the algorithm correctly thank you susan um yep but uh it hit the algorithm correctly and i just got a bunch of watch hours from because I think it just hit 18,000 views on there. But, mm -hmm. uh, like, if I pop yeah. out one more of those, I'll, I'll be monetized on there for sure. Yeah, something um, something totally different about Twitch than there is in YouTube is with Twitch, it's it's definitely, like, audience interaction. And it's 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 kind of it's kind of more um, exposure-based. Whereas in YouTube, it's audience upkeep and keeping your audience in with more content, but it's not personal. And it and it's it just doesn't feel the same way to me personally than Twitch because if you go into a small streamer's stream in Twitch, they will reply to your chat, and just having yeah. that one-on-one -on -one interaction and building a bond with someone who you don't know apart from just watching them play a video game, it's just it's just kind of special. I don't know. I, I get that. Like I just posted for my 1,000 subscriber special, which I posted late because I kind of grew too fast. Mm -hmm. um, I posted on there and. It was more of insight on my life and what people, some people wish I went more in depth, but I don't know how I could have went more in depth based on yeah. the questions they were asking. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, just trying to let them more of who I am and what I do. I think podcasts like these will make that easier, but I do agree with the whole, it's much more personable when people actually grow and get to know you better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially those people that have been there since the first 100. Absolutely, for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's crazy. I um I got I got a special announcement regarding my my stuff that's going to be dropped in a different podcast. Hopefully the okay. next one, uh, it's going to be announced on June fourth. So stay tuned nice. for that. Yep. Is it a different podcast or the same one we're doing right here? <laughs> well, uh, it's gonna be another episode on this podcast. Hopefully episode two if we get it okay. recorded in time. But yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep. Uh, announcement well, June fourth. I don't even know what it is. Yep. Announcement yep. June fourth from Admiral Blackwell. Yep. Uh, no, for sure, for sure. Uh, what are we looking like on time right now? Um, we currently have ten minutes. Eight, uh, nine minutes left around there. Nine minutes left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why don't we go ahead and wrap it up? I have a League of Legends class. Sure, we can do soon. that. Oh yeah, fifteen minutes. I need to. Oh, well, I need to hop on with my boys <laughs> and just make sure we're all good. <laughs> all right, all right. Any, any, any uh, closing remarks? 
no uh thanks for listening to this podcast if you made it all the way through to the end uh i'm gonna be dropping on my channel i know admiral is gonna go ahead and drop it on his too but make sure i link everybody's subscriptions and tags and everything uh go like subscribe comment i'm calling t music for people that don't know who i am uh but yeah yep and uh for people that don't know who i am i'm admiral snack bar on twitch and youtube my twitch is a little bit different but i think colin will have it it's it's a not, whole nother story on on how that username is different but yeah make sure to come check us out tyler anything anything for you tyler kobe rip kobe rip kobe rip all right the pepperoni. Stop all right. Up? <laughs> uh yeah thanks guys for watching see ya